everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a cleaning video as you can tell by that mess behind me. Um, this video is actually a collaboration with one of my friends here on YouTube being Bailey. I love Bailey's channel. She uploads like Monday through Friday. Girl, I have no idea how she does that. No idea because I can barely get one upload a weekend. So she's doing like a legit like I clean my house video. I don't have my crap together enough to do that. And you all know I love a good tutorial. So I am doing a clean with me video, but it is how to clean your Graco Snug Ride 30 car seat. And this is the car seat that clicks into that Graco ready to go click connect double stroller that I jabber about all the time. So yeah, when was the last time you cleaned your kid's car seat? Yeah, I'm talking to you mom. So if your kid's car seat needs to be cleaned, go out to your car right now, pause this video, go out to your car, grab their car seat, and clean with me. And then when you finish watching my video, click down below on Bailey's video and go check out her channel and clean your house with her because she sings. She does karaoke while she cleans. Okay, let's get it. To clean your Graco Snug Ride 30, the first thing you're going to do is Flip the car seat upside down. Then you're going to move your baby out of the way. And I didn't show it, but I also usually give it a shake right here. Then you're going to go ahead and take the chest straps off. You do this by unclipping the chest straps from the metal clip. They just slide right out. And then you flip your car seat back over and those should pull right through the front. And then you can easily just pull those straps out from the cover and your cover should just slip right off. You can see me struggle with it here, but I, something just got hung. It should just pop off. If it doesn't pop off easily, it's snagged on something. I throw that cover right into the washing machine, just put on a normal setting with normal soap. And then I lay that piece out to dry. Don't put it in the dryer. The next thing I do is I take a small handheld vacuum um, to the actual car seat and I try and get all of the nooks and crannies. Um, I find that if you don't use a vacuum attachment or at least the handheld vacuum, you just can't get it out. It's just graham crackers, whatever, if you let your kids eat in there, you know how it is. They're, they just get nasty. And then multiple times during this process, I take that car seat, flip it upside down and shake it. At one of that's the best way. Next, I use a baby wipe to clean the base and the strap. And I hold the straps down so they're like pinned down to the actual seat. And I scrub those straps. I also take a wipe and I run it through all the nicks and crannies, um, anything and everything to get it off of there. I feel like this is something we don't clean as often as we should. I mean, my kids are in that seat probably more than they are anything else. They've had blowouts in there, they puke in there, and as much as I try to clean them after those things, I feel like we just probably don't clean it good enough. Um, another vacuum attachment I use is this little brush that came with ours, and I just use that to scrub the vacuum more. Scrub, 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 the car seat. Once it's all clean, I just set the car seat out in the sun along with the cover. I just lay it out flat in the sun to dry. In these next few clips, I wanna go over putting your car seat back together. Um, but I would like to mention, don't ever touch that styrofoam foam when you're cleaning it out. So when I re-enter the straps, I like to do them in order. So the very first slit on your car seat is going to be your car seat tether. That second hole, nothing will slide through because that is the loosener button for the car seat tether. And the third slot is where the belt buckle slides through. And then you're gonna take the upper straps and you're gonna slide through them through the bottom side 
slots, like the slots that the kids almost sit on. And then once you have those fed through, see, it takes me here a minute to get it. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to get them over the clips, but you just kind of have to wiggle it around until you get there. But once you have those slid through on both sides, then you are going to feed that up through the top. So while we're watching me do that, I'm gonna ask a couple questions. Do you guys have this car seat or are you just watching because you're awesome? Um, if you do, comment down below and let me know if you like it and why. If you don't have this car seat, let me know which car seat you have and why you chose that car seat. That'd be awesome. So once you get those through the bottom, go ahead and slide them through the top and then make sure they're in the corresponding slots on the actual physical car seat and then pull those through tight so they don't fall out when you flip your car seat over. And then once you have them like that, see how it slid back? <laughs> once you have them all the way through, you are just going to relatch them on that metal clip. And you just make sure when you slide them on here that they are 100% in that crevice. Give it a little tug to make sure they're on there tightly because you absolutely don't want that coming undone. And then just flip your car seat back over and run your hands around the cover to make it sure it's slid all the way around the edges. Every side has a little plastic piece underneath the cover and that should slip up underneath the lip that's on the right side of your car seat and you're done. Okay guys, thanks for checking out this video. If you were searching for how how to clean your Grey Coast Dog Ride 30. Um, I hope this video really helped you. If you've got any questions, please comment down them, comment them down below. If you're from Bailey's channel, um, hi, thanks, hit that subscribe button. I always enjoy new subscribers and I love checking out new channels. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.